What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday and well, yeah. Both of my teams are out of it. Red Sox lost on Friday and the Dodgers lost on Saturday and they both lost in convincing fashion. Yeah, so yeah, um, I guess go Braves. Yeah. I mean, they're both solid teams. I can't knock that. I, I, I'll watch the World Series, but I'm not going to be rooting particularly for any team, so that's just me. But I'm wearing a basketball shirt. Yeah, it means we're, well, and a baseball hat, but I don't have, I only have one basketball hat. I need to remedy that. So anyway, what are we gonna rip today? Well, something I was gonna rip last week and then other things started popping up, so we're gonna get to it right now. And what is that? Something you probably are done with watching rips of, but I wanna rip it, and I haven't ripped it yet, so does that account for anything? Good, well, what are we ripping? I'm gonna get to the point here. 2021 Select basketball hangers. We're gonna rip open two of these bad boys. We've got four hanger box exclusive shimmer prisms. Anthony Edwards on the cover. We're gonna rip open two of these, but we also got ourselves a little bit of Monday mail. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday, and we are ripping open some select basketball hanger boxes. Anthony Edwards on the cover. Pick these up at Target.com. I picked up like six of them. I'm not going to open all six of them yet. I'm going to open two of them. But before we get to these, it's time for Monday Mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to will. That's right, Josh. It never fails. It is... Monday Mail. And we got some eBay purchases, some eBay pickups, a bunch of Lucy's single cards. Pretty much, if I recall, this is gonna be a bunch of prospects. So are you ready to, to rip these open? To open these envelopes and packs and shipments? Good. By the way, yeah, do all that stuff that's underneath there. I'm not gonna say it yet. So what do we got here? Well, again, if you watch the channel, you know I'm a baseball guy and we're gonna prospect, I prospect a lot. So we are going to go to our first thing, our envelope. This was somewhere. Oh, yeah, I already know it says on the cover. It was a eBay uh, eBay special, per one of those uh, eBay envelope deals. Um, so it was very cheap shipping. And the player was shipped in a, here we go, in a card saver. It is Tristan Cassis. Yes, this is Bowman paper, first Bowman, but this is a guy I will pick up for, if I pick these cards up for a dollar or so, I'm just gonna keep picking them up till the cows come home. Uh, Tristan Cassis, he is going to be, not net, well, he could get called up next year, but realistically, 2022, 2023, he will be the first baseman for the Red Sox. He's a power hitter, he's young, he's got a lot of pop in his bat, and he is going to dominate. Um, he just, he has that, I don't wanna say Joey Gallo, because Joey Gallo strikes out a lot, but he does have that Joey Gallo power. And, whoo, playing at Fenway? Oh my God, dude, he's gonna be good. So that's our, that's our, uh, that's our uh, purchase number one. Let's go to purchase number two here. I do not know what this one is. Uh, I, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is right at this second. Okay, it is going to be uh, Kobe Mayo. I picked this up, I wanna say it was like $15, $16 before shipping. The Bowman Mega Box Kobe Mayo autograph. Uh, now the thing that's interesting with this kid, it is his first Bowman technically because it is in the 2020, uh, 2021 Bowman uh, line. But this was a Mega Box uh, autograph. This is not, yeah, it's not numbered. I uh, think with Kobe Mayo is he was a fourth round pick in last year. Everybody's jumping on the whole Blaze Jordan train. Don't get me wrong, I totally, I think it's fine. Um, but Kobe Mayo is just as good, if not better, and he's got stolen bases to go with it. He's got a six foot five frame. The guy can play. He's a first baseman, third baseman type, correct? A third baseman, he's listed as third base. Um, but by the time he makes it to the Orioles, he's definitely gonna be a corner corner uh, with a pop bat. He's got some strong hands, he's quick. He ended up the season, ended up in high A. And I wanna say he's 19 years old, 19, 20. He will be 20 uh, in December. So 19 years old at high A. The guy is legit, he's a legit masher. Um, again, these are guys that I'm prospecting. So do you have to prospect them? No, you don't. 
but I do. Well, I don't, I don't, but I do. All right, so let's go to eBay purchase number three. Here we go, we're just gonna, they did a nice little job here, so I'm gonna see if I can save this packaging. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I, I like to reuse the, the packaging. That way it's like, it's not so much I'm cheap. I mean, my wife knows I'm cheap, but it's more for the sake of being able to uh, use it when I'm sending off stuff. I guess, screw it. I'm just gonna go through the old fashioned way. Here we go, ripping packs. Okay. We got ourselves some more Adenso Reyes. Again, another guy that I have been uh, prospecting for the Tigers. How did he close? There we go. This was, yeah, okay, this was the two pack I did. And I got some extra top loaders. Thank you, Mr. eBay guy I bought this from. I'll make sure to leave a little comment in there. He sent me some extra top loaders. Okay, so we got ourselves uh, Adenso Reyes, number 44 out of 125 out of Bowman Sapphire. Again, Detroit Tigers, 19 year old. Uh, I think he's actually, he's soon to be 19. Uh, played in the uh, Florida League, the Florida um, Developmental League. Um, he's just, he's got a good strong bat. Again, these are, it's kind of, I'm no, noticing a trend. A lot of these guys are first baseman, third baseman. He's right now a shortstop, but probably going to third. And then Esmail Mena, Bowman Sapphire, autograph. First edition, uh, not first edition, but Bowman first. He is now with the Cubs and he's our outfielder. He's the same thing. He is, he will be 19 in, at the, uh, right before the end of December. I mean, be the end, end of November. So yeah, I mean, these these are all young guys. So, and our last eBay pickup, what do we got here, Craig? Well, we got ourselves, I think this should be a slab. Maybe not, I don't know, I don't know what I got. I don't know what's coming to me half the time anymore. Okay, this is wrapped up and it is, oh yeah, a bunch of singles, a bunch of singles. Uh, again, these are all Bowman paper, which again, I, I prefer Chrome, but when I can get paper for, you know, like a cheap price, you know, rough, roughly, you know, a quarter to a buck a card on some of these guys, I'm doing it. And what do we got here? Well, you may have heard of a couple of these guys. One of them though, um, is going to be the Mariners shortstop of the future. And that is going to be Noel V. Marte. I picked up three of his paper Bowman, uh, Bowman uh, cards. Again, this is the shorts. Uh, I want to say he's in the top 10, top 20. I know that from Major League Baseball prospects. Uh, shortstop for the Seattle Mariners. Again, when you're there, a dollar a card, I don't care. And then I got myself, yeah, I got four of them because that, that's what I thought. And then I got four Gunnar Henderson. Uh, Bowman first for the Orioles. He's a shortstop. Reminds me a lot of Nomar Garcia Parra, um, just in the sense. And we all know Nomar was the flavor for a while. I think once he tra got traded to the Cubs, things kind of went downhill. And once he, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, he was a great ball player. It's just things just didn't work out the way you know he, he didn't have the Jared Derek Jeter career because it was Jeter, A Rod, and, and Nomar, and the three of them were all lumped together. He could move. I want to say he's six. Yeah, he's six three. So he's not. He's not tall for a shortstop. But we all know shortstops. They like him to be around. You know, six one or so. Um, he could move. Could move to third base. And him and Kobe Mayo. Who knows? But this is one guy who I've been pretty high on. And I just, again, I just really think that he's a he's a good potential prospect. Now, obviously, I put below how much I paid for all these cards. But I want to say, I mean, the thing with prospecting is, as many of you know, it could never work out. Some of these guys, like Kobe Mayo, could have just, you know, crap in the bed and not just cutting it after double A. Um, that does happen. So it is one of those things that when you're prospecting, you're spending a little bit of money and you're hoping for a payoff. To me, I'm a collector. And sometimes when I go through my, all my cards that I have from the late 90s, early 2000s, and I see some of that stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, what happened to that guy? There's a lot of that. Some of these guys might never pan out, but that's just the way it is. So hey, I'm gonna clean this off and we'll be right back to open some select hanger boxes. I will see you in a minute. No, really, I'll see you in a minute. I, I have them right here, I'm gonna open them. Yeah, right here. Oh, okay, good, I'll see ya. All right, so we got some prospecting and some baseball done. Now it's time to rip open some basketball. They play that basketball. Yeah, that was horrible. I need to really work on my vocals right now. It's, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've sang and I used to do karaoke a lot. Anyway, 
2021 Select Basketball. Anthony Edwards is on the cover. We have 20 cards in here. We're looking for awesome. We're looking for color. We're looking for court side. That's what we're looking for in here. We're looking for the good rookies. We're looking for Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton. I mean, Sadiq Bey is going off right now. He's having a solid season. Let's see what happens when Kate Cunningham actually gets an appearance. Um, right now, basketball is crazy. Um, the Warriors look like they're back on top. <laughs> the Lakers look horrible. <laughs> and I only say that because I'm a Clippers Fairweather fan, meaning I live in LA, and if I have to follow a basketball team, it's the Clippers. I'm a Blazer fan, that's my team. But living in LA, I don't know how the Blazers do. I actually have to go aggressively look to see how the Blazers do. Because they tell you everything about the Lakers. They tell you, you know, the size of LeBron James' turds. That's how bad it is here. And I can't stand it. So I'm just, I'm just not a Laker fan. Don't get me wrong. I understand why they're Laker fans. They are, they were a dominant team in the days. And I get it. I just don't like them. Because I grew up in a place where the Blazers were my team. Anyway, that's it. Um, Blazers, you know, we're one on one right now. The, the, the Clippers, have, they've, 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 they've competed. And you know what? They don't even have a full roster right now. There's still Kawhi's coming back in like January. I don't know. But you know what? It's early. Nothing means anything right now because there's still 79, 78 games, 80 games left. Let's go. Anyway, ribbon packs. We're going to rip these open before I even think of getting the box cutter out and cutting these things open. You know what? That's right. And the like. And the subscribe, like, notification bell. Yeah, you click all those. You know, leave a comment. What do you think? Not of this. I mean, obviously, you've seen this ripped in you know, like the last two months. Uh, what do you think of this upcoming season for the NBA? I know there's, you know, once the playoffs happen, who, tell me this. What If there's a rookie you're following, who do you like? Um, I'm still up in the air with some of these guys. I really do like Jalen Green, just reading up on him and getting his, you know, kind of getting the inside on him. I think Houston's going to have a really, Houston and Orlando are two teams that are going to be scary good if they develop properly. They're young. That's the one thing. They're both, all, both of those teams are really young. So that'll be interesting to see. But who, uh, who are some rookies you're excited for? I, we're not going to find them in this. I know that. But who are some of the teams you're excited for? Who are the rookies you're excited for? For me, I mean, I'm, I just want to see my Blazers go to the playoffs again. But I have talked to a couple buddies of mine, um, and I really think that uh, I'm kind of scared. I think uh, Damien's gonna, Dame Time is gonna be exiting Portland. Um, if we're, uh, you know, barely in the playoff hunt, in you know, before the trade deadline, I could see it happening because Lillard is such an awesome player. But the problem is, is Portland just can't put it together for him. And if you can get yourself some quality picks to give Chauncey Billups something to work with in the future, don't get me wrong. I don't want to lose him. I think he's a great player. But you owe it to a player like him to give him that opportunity to get far in the playoffs. Because if you can't do that yourself, it sucks. But I get it. Anyway. Ribbon packs, are you ready? Select 2020 hanger boxes. Pick these up at Target.com. Was lucky. I got, uh, I got, like I said, I got th two orders of si uh, three, so I got six of these. Uh, we're opening two right now. Hanger box exclusive Shimmer Prisms. Twenty cards in here. We're getting four of those, and yeah, we're getting seven parallels or inserts per box. I've opened the Mega and the Blaster before on the channel. Haven't opened these yet, so we're gonna open it right now. Ribbon packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. And I should do a better job on that one. There we go. Okay, ripping some select hanger boxes. Yeah. Okay. Cameron Johnson, right off the bat, is a rookie card that we just, not a rookie, but a card that we got. Did we? And the one thing, again, with select retail is it is the blue hue to it, the blue cover, uh, not cover, but the color, and then uh, got, some, got some colors here, as we should. Uh, Cameron Johnson for the Suns, I do not know how he's doing, I haven't tracked him. And then Josh Green for the Dallas Mavericks, did he get traded? I don't, I, uh, there's a green in somewhere else, I want to say in Washington, but I don't know, maybe it's a different green. Rookie pile, uh, Denario, uh, Denio Gallinari for the Hawks. Again, some of these guys, I'm not going to know where they've traded, especially guys like him. He's a good player, but I, I think he ended up, maybe he's in, I was looking at box scores the other day. Yeah, I'm that guy. Colin Sexton for the Cavaliers. Okay, he's going off right now. I saw that. Colin Sexton, he's legit. And he's the guy in Cleveland. Eric Bledsoe for then the Pelicans. I want to say he is now with the Clip Show. 
Uh, yeah, I could be wrong. Aaron Nesmith with, that's a kind of a, yeah, that's actually, that's not cool at all. It's Aaron Nesmith. <laughs> rookie card for the Celtics. Is it Nesmith or Neesmith? Either way, it's going in the rookie pile. John Wall for the Rockets. Is he back? What's the deal with him? I don't know. I mean, again, I just check up the box scores. I'll watch a little bit of some highlights of some of the games, uh, like the Blazer game the other night. I watched that. But um, what's the deal with him? I didn't see him for Houston. Uh, Jaden McDaniels for the Timberwolves going into the rookie pile. Then Pascal Siakam for the Raptors. I saw he, uh, he hasn't played yet, so I don't know if he's injured or what's the deal with him, but Pascal Siakam, all-star. Terry Rozier, the last, I believe, of the uh, concourse for the Charlotte Hornets going into the base common pile. Zeke Nanaji for the Nuggets. I want to say this is the premier level. Good old Zeke Nanaji. Brooke Lopez of the Bucks. Is he with the Bucks still? I don't know, because I mean, both him and Robin. I know Robin, I think Robin's moved like, is on the different, like so many different teams. And then uh, Alexia Pukusheski for the Oklahoma City Thunder going in the rookie pile. The uh, emo looking DJ guy who is also uh, plays like a three, but he's built like a five. Then Kyrie Irving, I keep pulling this guy. Yeah, yay. Kyrie's a great player. But man, oh man, just, dude, just, just, just get with it, dude. Just get with it. Kyrie Irving going into, well, the insert prison pile. Cole Anthony, nice, nice. Cole Anthony, I like him, especially out of Premier there. It's Premier, right? Premier? Yeah, Premier level. Uh, going into the Premier rookie pile, but that's actually pretty awesome. Cole, Cole's a player I really think is going to do good this year. He's got some, they, well, like I said, Orlando's young with uh, Frank uh, Wagner and, um, uh, God, the guy they have, the, the other dude they just grabbed, uh, Jalen Suggs. They've got a young team. Then Jahamus Ramsey for the Kings. Is he even playing? Because I looked up the box score and he's like, hasn't played. It's a DNP for the last like two games. Going into that pile. Eric Paschal for the Warriors. Then we have ourselves, our inserts and a silver. Uh, we have ourselves Pascal Siakam for the, the numbers with that. And then a Peyton Pritchard silver uh, concourse rookie. That's nice. Nice to get the uh, actual true silver. Um, granted, it's uh, Peyton Pritchard, but hey, he's from Oregon. This is technically a color match because of the green on here, but then again, that's how they do the Celtics in that. But that's cool. Definitely going into the rookie hits. And last card is Ben uh, Simmons for the Sixers. Sixers fans, what the hell do you think of Ben Simmons? I'll tell you this much. I think it's a joke. I think it's a joke. Um, yeah, he's got no leverage. He's going to go into the insert parallel pile. All right, are you ready for box number two? Box number two of select basketball hanger box. Let's go. So that box was, it was okay. But box number two, what you going to do when I open you? You're going to give me cards. And you're going to give me Giannis. I, I honestly can't even say his last name, so I don't even bother, because that's kind of the one side when you got a really cool first name, Giannis, everybody knows it's Giannis. You don't have to say Antetokounmpo or whatever it is. Yeah, I, how, many, how many letters are in there? I'm not even gonna count, but we got Giannis. Giannis with, that's gonna go into the hits. He's a legit hit, Giannis going into the hits. James Harden, who, uh, yeah, I like James Harden. I think it's, I don't like James Harden. I think he's a great ball player. I just don't like James Harden, so yeah. Denny of VGS, so right now we're doing better on the rookies for the Washington uh, Wizards. We're in the old District of Columbia jersey on him, but Denny of VGS, he's, I like him. Um, the thing with him though is it, it's always interesting with rookies because they always have their one year to do anything, and then if they don't do anything, they're gonna kind of push to the curb. He might be one of those guys, but he could still be good. He's definitely a strong, strong perimeter player, but I'm gonna throw him into the rookie pile. Vernon Carey for the Hornets with the uh, concourse going into the rookie pile. Then Bogdan Bogdanovich for the Hawks. I think he's gone too. I Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, obviously you watch my channel. I don't track the NBA as much as I track uh, football and baseball. 
I'm like a fair weather guy, but I will, I am gonna start tracking the basketball a little better now. But yeah, Bogdan Bogdanovich, then bam out of bio, bam out of bio for the Miami Heat. They had made, they made a lot of trades this year, uh, this off season. Then Onyeke, uh, on Onyeke Nkawago for the Atlanta Hawks. I think he was he was a first round. He was a lottery pick last year for the Hawks. Dame time. Wow, I finally pulled Lillard. Um, I finally pulled. I was talking with some uh, people the other day at one of the Walmarts I was visiting. Um, visiting as in trying to look for cards and I couldn't find any. Anyway, the um, thing with uh, the Blazers, if you were to buy into a, a break of Blazers, why? You're not guaranteed. I mean, you might get one or two cards, and then it's really, there are certain teams, especially with NBA, where it's worthless to you but for you to buy into a break if you were to, because there's no, there's not really very many hits, or yeah, I don't know. PC hit, yay. Tyrese Maxey going into the rookie pile. He's, I like Tyrese, he's solid. Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers. Kemba Walker, keep pulling this guy too. Kemba Walker for the Celtics, and he is now with the Knicks. Yeah, I know that. Is he a hit though? Is he a hit? I don't know, I don't put him in the hits, but he keeps showing up in all these inserts and keeps showing up in all these things, and Kemba Walker, I mean, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, he's a common to me. Then Darius Garland for the Cavaliers with the premier level Darius Garland going into the premier pile. Then Shy, I throw Shy in the hits because he's like the guy in Oklahoma City. Realistically, he's the guy. But Shy is going into uh, the hits with y uh, Jamal Murray for the Nuggets. Um, yeah, I like Jamal. He's a good ball player, and and the Nuggets are just—they're going to be it's crazy how good they're going to be again. Then Davis Bertrand for the Wizards with the uh, Shimmer, the Concourse Shimmer. Put you into, well, the insert parallel pile. And then we have ourselves Matisse Tybel for the 76ers with the Shimmer Concourse. Peyton Pritchard, so it's a Peyton Pritchard day, I'll tell you that much, with the Concourse, uh, not Concourse, but the uh, Premier level with the Shimmer. Good old Peyton Pritchard right there. And then Duncan Robinson from the Miami Heat with the premier shimmer. Jason Tatum with the numbers out of select. What's funny is the other one, um, the Pascal Siakam had the same thing. You don't really pick it up on camera so much, but over here, there's like a roller, just like a roller just went right, right through the card. So Jason Tatum there. Joel Embiid with the silver, which is our uh, prism, silver prism, Joel Embiid. And, eh, he's gonna go into the hits. And the last one is another blue prism of DeAndre Ayton for the concourse with the blue going into, well, I'm going to throw you into, is he a hit? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to do one more because I was not, I didn't get any of the big rookies. I, I have six of them, like I said. So here we go. Ripping packs. Let's go. Ripping packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip a third angle box. Let's go. I was really hoping to get, I haven't pulled a Lamello for, from any of this stuff. So I was really hoping to pull a Lamello. I mean, I do have some Optic, an Optic Mega on the way, so hopefully I'll get one of those. But I kind of prefer a little bit better on the rookies. Here we go, ribbon packs, let's go. Sadiq Bay right off the bat, there's a better rookie. <laughs> These impromptu rips kind of get, get on me though, because I really shouldn't be, I mean, I'm opening two things and I should be getting what I want up too. Sadiq Bay with the concourse going into, well, the rookie pile, Sadiq Bay. And Carl Anthony Towns. Let's see what else is this? Yeah, it's all the same. It's all the same layout as the other packs were. Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves. He's a good player. He's a great guy. Question is, will he be would he be a bigger player if he was in a different market? Because he's just an all-star player. Gets no hobby love, at least that I see. But that's a great player. Then Daniel Toro for the Clippers. Rookie car going into the rookie pile. Daniel Toro. D'Angelo Russell, another Timberwolf who used to be a Laker, who finally found his calling outside of LA. Cole Anthony with the uh, Concourse rookie car going into the rookie pile. Cole Anthony. De'Aaron Fox, 
solid point guard up in Sacramento. Sacramento's gonna be scary um, if they just develop properly because they got some good young talent on that team. Problem is the West is just so bad in a good way. It's like there's so many strong teams that you know you just you just gotta be just gelling. Darren Fox. Malachi Flynn for the Raptors. Toronto Raptors. They are a basketball team up in the great country of Canada. Toronto Raptors. Malachi Flynn. Bojan Bogdanovic for the Jazz. Is there like nine Bogdanoviches? I don't know. I know Peter Bogdanovich. He's a director, a film director, uh, who was friends with Orson Welles back in the day. Nothing to you, but hey. Andre Drummond then says to Cleveland, then with the Lakers, and I don't know where he's at. I mean, dude, he playing in the G League now. I don't know. The guy is just, he was a great player. I actually shot footage of him in high school uh, when he was doing this Adidas high school summit thing, and that was dominant. He was a man amongst boys, but obviously, you know, he's, he, yeah, he's just, he's a good player, but he just keeps going team to team to team to team. Just can't put it together. Lamelo. okay, finally, I got a Lamelo. I mean, I know this is worth like $2, but still. Lamelo. For concourse. I finally got one. Okay, this rip is now good. We're good. Because <laughs> I got Anthony Edwards in the last uh, when I opened the Megas. But this is, okay, I'm happy now. At least I got a friggin' Lamello. And I was wrong about Lamello. I, if you've watched my channel before, you know I was, I live here in LA. You're given, you're forced, the whole ball family. And it's like you're sitting there going, this, I can't stand this kid. He's just not going to cut it. He, he, Proved me wrong, and the kid is just balling at all levels, and no pun intended because of his name. Um, the kid's a legit ball player, and he deserves everything he's gotten so far. Eric Gordon for the Rockets. Uh, I don't know if he's still there, but the Rockets are on that whole youth movement thing, so maybe he's not. I don't know. Nick Richards for the Hornets. So hey, I got the I got the good Hornet we all wanted. Well, I wanted for the Hornets. Devontae Graham, so we did get a court side for the Hornets. So we got three straight Hornets, good God. <laughs> With the court side going into, well, going into the commons. Actually, I'll throw you on the premier level. Then we got a shimmer of uh, Pokusevsky going into the shimmer insert, rookie hits. The shimmer of Zeke Nanaji for the Nuggets going into the rookie hits. Brooke Lopez for the Bucks going into the parallel pile. And another, wow, it's a Pukashevsky hot box here. Pukashevsky with the Concourse Shimmer. Uh, not Concourse, but the uh, Premier. Then we did get a select company, Zion. That must That's one of their little inserts out of there, so that's nice. Zion's not out for the year, obviously. He's just not playing, but the guy's like, you know, 400 pounds right now. So drop the weight there, Zion, because you ended, you were strong last year. Now put the McDonald's back down and just get out there and start balling, dude, because you're the face of the NBA if you keep your head on. Yeah. Zion Williamson going into, well, going into the hits. Then Jared Culver with the green purple. Wait, is that it? That's a, hmm. Jared Culver, either way, I'm going to put you into the parallel pile, but I thought that was a uh, Blaster Box exclusive right there, but. Could be wrong. And then a blue sh uh, blue prism of uh, Anyeki and Congo for the uh, Hawks with the rookie card there. So there you go. They're uh, much better. That box number three was, and I wasn't gonna rip it, but after kind of like meh on the first two, I'm like, screw it, let's go. So let's just go over the hits real quick. I mean, okay, obviously I didn't put Lamal, uh, Lamal, Lamar into uh, Lamelo in there, but. And it looks like it's a good, it's good centered, but again, it's concourse, so it's not going to do anything. But Lamelo Ball, right there, that's kind of what we came to play with. That's so he's definitely you're you're a hit. Lamelo Cole Anthony for the Magic. I think Cole's legit. I like Cole a lot. He's a hit. Um, Sadiq Bay for the Pistons. He's definitely a hit right there. Again, these are these are just your basic uh, Tyrese Maxey. For the Sixers, these again, these are just concourse, so um, they're not going to be huge deals. I throw Denny in there because I think Denny still is a good ball player. He has that Luca Luca vibe to him. Uh, so there is your hits from the rookie side that were not parallels, and then we have a Nick a Nicky, uh, Pukaszewski, like, like I said, I mean, people jumped on him at the last minute uh, at the end of the season. He, I pulled like three of him. So that was nice right there. And then the Peyton uh, Silver, the Cole Anthony Shimmer Premier, uh, which is nice. 
getting that. I mean, yeah, like I pulled four Pukashevskis out of the three boxes. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then, I mean, for the stars, we did, honestly, we didn't get a lot of the stars. But we buy this for the rookies, right? I know. So, anyways, there you go. Monday mail, we had some basketball select being ripped. We put on a show. Well, I put on a show and you watched it, so uh, hopefully you're still watching because, you know, it's, we're, you know, half hour in almost. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching Rip Packs on this Monday. That select button, just give it. That select, subscribe, give it some love. The like button, you know what? If you want to love it, it's right there. I know. Uh, notification bell, leave a comment. Um, yeah, leave a comment. I don't know, just leave a comment. No, like I said earlier, talk about the NBA. Talk about you know some of the guys that you're thinking are going to be some good rookies. Talk about some of the teams you think are going to be surprises. I'd love to know what you think. Um, follow me on all those little things down here. And come back on Wednesday. What am I ripping? I don't know. Maybe I'll rip more Donners football. Maybe I'll... Yeah, maybe I'll rip Donners football. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But, you know, baseball is going to be... Uh, World Series is going to be playing, so we'll see what's up. I mean, I do have some more baseball on the way, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you again, and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care.